implementation of the week this week, uh, built out by Cody Georgeson and uh, Jason here on our consulting and development teams. Um, there's an implementation using the Zoho Analytics and Zoho Inventory integration to do some item sales reporting on composite and component items. So inside of Zoho Inventory, we can essentially create composite items, which is a sellable item that is comprised of subs or like a subset of items that make it up, right? So maybe I sell apples, bananas, and pears. I also sell a fruit basket that has two of each. That fruit basket here would be like our composite item. And that's really great, works well. You can bundle them, does your inventory. The challenge that people end up having is that, um, what if I wanna pull a report of all the apples I've ever sold? Right. Well, if I go ahead and pull that in Zoho inventory, um, it doesn't register sales of an apple every time that a sale of a fruit basket is recorded. So you actually aren't really able to get this like unit count identifier of like how many of that component item have I sold? Because you could sell an apple on its own or you could sell it as part of one or multiple different, uh, you know, fruit baskets. So here the team was actually they were able to do something when they asked me this originally, I told them they weren't going to be able to do it. Uh, but they actually sorted out that you can, in fact, pull over the uh, basically a mapping table of component to composite items, as well as like the prices and, and selling points of each of those. Um, then we're able to do some a little bit of math wizardry that I know John uh, Oda on our finance team also helped with to kind of attribute through sales of composite items through to their component items at the relevant share of the sales price of those items. So if we normally sell a fruit basket for 10 bucks, um, you have four products that each contribute to 50, it would all go, the revenue would be counted equally to each of those. But if those kind of component prices are different, it'll actually split the revenue based on their contributing percent. So it's really slick, it's like very well thought out and it will actually give our client the ability to know, um, you know, from a composite or strictly component level, what's the sales velocity and revenue streams from each of these different SKUs. Um, so really nice implementation. This is one that um, we find ourselves using compo uh, composite items a lot in inventory. It's kind of a nice way to manage some of those like production or kind of lightweight production steps. Um, and this now kind of allows the client to still get that granular insight of whether we sold an apple alone in bundle A, B, C, or D, doesn't matter. We can still get the count of how many apples we've sold. Um, so really good job to the team. I think it solves a pretty big problem for some people that bump into when they, uh, you know, get into Zoho inventory. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Very, good very, job. very nice. Good job, Cody and Jason. So I thought when I read this originally, Zinfentory was like a place where I could track all my Zinfandel, you know, like a uh, very particular nice. app. How many bottles of wine do you have? You you can yeah. only put your you put your Zinfandel just in here. The rest we don't. They say startups are supposed to start very specific, solve one problem. Got to go. You got to go for a specific niche. Get COVID. Lean boat, right? Lean boat makes it upstream. So. <laughs>